Titillating Tuesday. Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? Welcome to Titillating Tuesday. Today is the 9th of January 2023. I hope the light is fixed a bit better now. <sighs> winter breath. <laughs> Everybody got winter breath. It smell like cold, you know. You know, I swear the other day somebody turned into a puff of COVID. <laughs> Just <laughs> disappeared and all over is the smell of cold here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um it's been that kind of week where we're getting used to the winter blues. Um but notice the Western Hemisphere has been hit hard by uh winter blues you know um, all kinds of um, you know natural things so no one to blame and just part of it <clears throat> part of the script that we are um, going through in this world you know um, we made a few assumptions on the way that will prove to be detrimental <laughs> to us um, the world review is a functional one and like I always say if you want to build a new world you start from scratch you make your own little one and then you grow it to maturity um, but otherwise you don't just replace the world with um, new crackpot theories but you must have crackpot theories <laughs> because when one world fails well we depend on alternatives um, to keep the fire burning and keep, keep, keep the human race going so um, but um, you must always uh, um, uh, get proof and get as much um, information, um, relevant information um, for other human beings when they hear what your theories are. You know, um, like um, this channel is about modern day prophecies and um, esoterics. Um, the esoteric is the um, metaphysics uh, uh, the metaphysical power of my mind yeah and um, that is an esoteric and I have to describe it in such a way where I don't uh, ruin the script it's a bit like Star Trek when you meet a primitive um, civilization and um, you just don't want to interfere with their destiny by introducing things which they're not ready for um, because this could have dire consequences for them and the rest of you <laughs> so <laughs> so we uh, I call myself a type 3 conscious Reagan rather than a type 3 civilization if there's one component in the civilization that can reach a star or a galaxy and uh, move it about then that civilization where that consciousness is is a type 3 civilization so if I'm a type 3 consciousness this is a type 3 civilization at least and then there's Christ who it might be a five a type 5 we might be divine from just having a Christ here <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah yeah anyway today's joke <clears throat> what do you call tea with a shoe in it a paper towel tea shoe tissue <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a cold joke, you know, because it's um, January now and um, it's cold, so the jokes are gonna be a bit cold. And uh, yeah, so it's like that. Um, it's uh, tissue time, <laughs> but not for me, because I meditate and I keep my airwaves clear, <laughs> airways clear, um, and um, it's very important um, at this time. Um, we all. We can do. We can treat ourselves through the diet that we uh, that we uh, um, that we take, and um, you try and keep yourself as healthy as you can. Yeah, and um, when um, it reaches um, warmer months, uh, then you can start changing your diet and take a little, a few risks here and there. Um, but otherwise, um, on review, the week has been. Uh, a calm one because you always try to keep yourself in the vibration that you chose 
um, so I chose to be calm and um, I always um, endeavor to maintain that calmness uh, and uh, whatever you choose to be, choose to be excited, uh, relaxed, calm, yeah, whatever you choose, yeah, you kind of like try to guide yourself to keeping it that way. It'll be a fluctuation, but it has to be a mean. That is exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Titillating Tuesday, the 9th of January, 2024. I'm out. Titillating Tuesday. Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? Like. Subscribe. Share.